want to go this way. Alright. Let's see if we can find this monster around. There, there we go. And... Oh, I've never seen that before. What have we got? A reviving bomb. That is fantastic. I love finding stuff. Oh, we didn't read what was in the chest. I'll read the chest. The chest's empty. So very empty. Okay. monster should be right around here. Oh, no. Let's see. Where are ya, you monster? There's uh, one of them eggs. Hmm. Should be getting close. Mushroom snake. looking thing. Alright, here is the thunder quake. He is weak against fire a little bit, mostly earth. And I think he just has one attack that actually does a lot of damage. But we're gonna try and beat him quickly and hopefully relatively painlessly. Stupid stone hammer and fire bolt. Quite a bit, and we are also blind. Yeah. All right, we beat the Thunderquake. That wasn't too bad. Right, what did we get? We got a V2. Let's head back to the town and turn this in. Alright, back in town. Let's go to the market. And we'll go... Look, there's our friend from before. Let's talk to him. This marketplace is much more lively than I could have imagined. It was definitely worth seeing. Alright, let's go find Spence. Good afternoon, Mr. Spence. Oh, it's you bracers again, is it? Have you made any progress in your search? You bet we did. It looks like there's a habitat for bear claws, flowers, in the Bows region as well. We found some growing in the Nebel Valley. There weren't many of them, but there should be enough to use your medicine. This is wonderful news. I see, the bear claw has been said to grow well in humid places. Now that I think about it, the Neville Valley is the perfect place for them to grow. I appreciate you helping me out like this. Now I can put my full effort into preparing this new medicine. Great. Good luck with your work and have a wonderful day. We'll be going then. All done. Now let's go back to the guild hall. Which is right here. Just double check the board. Clear, 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 clear. Alright, let's turn in. Alright. Done, 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 done. Good work. Looks like you managed to achieve your objective. Come back again if you have anything else to report. Alright, and lastly, let's go and speak with the mayor. Glad to see you all again. Mayor Mabel has been excitedly awaiting your report. Alright, where is Mayor Mabel? Upstairs, maybe? Nope. Maybe in here? Yes. Dealing with complaints from the citizens. Late deliveries of goods to the Bose market because of the airships being a no-fly zone. Servicing the sewer facilities. Selecting a 
congratulatory gift for Her Majesty the Queen. Arm and cured by monsters on the new Enzo path. When will all this paperwork finally end? Um. Oh, hello. Oh, are you back already? You look pretty busy, so would it be better if we came back at a later time? Ahem. Uh, no, you're fine. So, you found out something from General Morgan, right? I'd like to hear about it. Good work. I feel like I have a much clearer picture of the situation now. First, there was a hijacking by the Sky Bandits, and now a ransom demand. The situation is much more serious than I had originally anticipated. If the General hadn't found out we were bracers, I think we could have learned more, but... No, it's alright. I'm just glad to know that it wasn't a crash. With the information, I should be able to effectively countermeasure with the city. Now I need to think of a way to inform the citizens of Bose and deal with the families of the passengers. I imagine that'll be quite a difficult task considering that you're already as busy as you are. Haha, <laughs> well that's just the duty of a mayor. And since the identity of the criminals is now known, may I ask that you continue your investigation of the incident. Of course, that was our plan to begin with. We already had a run-in with these Sky Bandits before, and I'll wager the honor of the Guild that this is one group we cannot simply leave up to the Royal Army. Yeah, that's for sure. There's Dad to find, and then we need to deal with these Sky Bandits once and for all. Huh? What's with the look, Joshua? I was just thinking, and no matter which way I look at things, I just can't believe it. What can't you believe? That dad could get beaten by a bunch of sky bandits. Basing my judgment on the ability of the group that appeared in Roland, I'm in agreement with you there. Cassius could have easily dealt with a group of that caliber. Come on, Joshua. You too, Shira. You're giving him way more credit than he deserves. He's pretty good, I'll give you that. But I think it would be a bit of a stretch to take on an entire group. Um, do you mind if I ask you something? Are you trying to tell me that your father was aboard the airliner? Oh, didn't I mention that? I'm embarrassed to say it, but yeah, he was. Not to mention he's a bracer too. His name is Cassius Prey. Did you just say Cassius Prey? Uh, yeah, uh, why? Do you know my dad or something? I've never met him in person, but I've heard a great deal about him. I'm sorry, I just don't know what to say. But we might be able to use this to get some information from the army. Excuse me, Mayor. I'm very sorry, and I can emphasize with what you must be going through. If there's anything I could do to help you clear up this incident, then I am at your disposal. If there's anything you need, please don't hesitate to ask. Um, I wonder what's up with the Mayor. As soon as we mentioned Dad's name, she got all surprised. You're right, but I guess I can imagine where she's coming from. The mayor and the general have known one another for a long time after all. Well, let's not worry about that right now. We've given the mayor a brief rundown of everything, so let's head to the guild. I'm sure Lugren is waiting for a report from us. Right. Anything new? Nope. Alright. Oh, it's you kids. So did you find out anything about the incident? Teehee, you bet. Valuable information at that. I still relayed the information that they had obtained from General Morgan. The Sky Bandits and the Kapua family. You're right, that is valuable information. It looks like we'll be able to decide on a policy for the Bracer Guild related to this. However, I'm surprised to hear that General Morgan is an even bigger Bracer hater than I had originally thought. Yeah, I was really surprised myself. In Roland, the job of the Bracer is pretty much respected by everyone, so to encounter someone that hates Bracers that much... Don't worry about it, General Morgan is an exception. Under normal circumstances, the Royal Army and the Guild maintain a pretty good cooperative relationship. However, it looks like this time they're going to have to deal with a lot more than you bargained for. Well, then I guess we'll have to try and make steady efforts while maintaining a low profile. But it looks like these recent burglaries are also the work of the Sky Bandits, right? Yes. Taking into account the incident in Roland, it's pretty clear who's behind these. To call them burglaries is one thing, though, because most of the stuff that's been stolen hasn't been all that valuable. 
I would have never thought they would go as far as commit a heinous crime like hijacking the Lindell. Now that you mentioned it, that is rather odd. The burglary that happened in Roland was also rather mild in comparison. Yeah, and to hijack an airliner and then turn around and demand a ransom from the royal family. The risks are greater than any potential reward. In light of that, we should probably do a little more on the investigative side ourselves. Alright, so what should we investigate then? Hmm, should we report? Nothing to report. Alright. I'm not entirely sure what we are investigating. Let's see, now that we've reported to the guild and the mayor, we need to think about what to do next. Hmm, just searching around blindly for the airliner or sky bands probably won't amount to anything, right? If it had, then the army would have found them a long time ago. Huh? What's the matter with you two? Estelle, you've matured. If it had been the same you as before, you probably would have said something like, let's just comb the entire region. I never thought I'd see the day when those words would come out of your mouth either. My heart's too full of emotion for words. So what are you two trying to say? You can be so rude sometimes, I hope you know. Haha, <laughs> we were complimenting you Estelle, seriously. Unfortunately, unlike Roland, the Bows region is certainly much faster. I'm really hoping for a clue right about now. A clue, huh? Oh, right. Wasn't that Niall and Dorothy we saw in front of the mayor's place earlier? He seemed pretty starved for a story, but I wonder if he knows anything else. It's true he arrived in Bose a little before we did, so I think it may be worth talking to him. I wonder where they went. Probably in a bar or a hotel, I am guessing. Uh, so let's check the bar first. Nope, not in here. Oh, I think it's Nile. Oh, god damn it. This ain't a joke, you know. Uh, well, we found him, but he's drunk off his ass. Was having his article rejected really that much of a shock to his system? He's just acting like the man he is. Men are pigs, after all. Though he seems to have forgotten that alcohol is a drink to be consumed, not a drink to be consumed by. You're one to talk, don't they sometimes call you Bottomless, Shira? Oh please, Bottomless is much more suitable for a woman like Aina. I, on the other hand, can hold my liquor no matter how much I may drink. My face and disposition remain unreddened. So don't you dare group a fun-loving drinker like myself in the same category as this clumsy lush. Oh, come now. When you get drunk, you lose it completely and everyone around you gets a heck of a show, admit it. It's certainly true that Anna is, is like a bucket to share a sheave. But no matter how you look at it, they're both pretty bottomless. I'm sensing disrespect, children. Oh. Where am I? Good, you're awake. Sort of. Drinking so much is not good for your health, you know. Oh, my head. What the? You're the bracer trainee, aren't you? Oh my goddess. What the hell am I doing in Roland? Thought I had made my way to Bose. What are you mumbling about, you sponge? You are in Bose, and so are we. Oh, well, damn. Don't scare me like that. Oh, and I see you've got a lovely lass with you. Name's Charizard Harvey. The pleasure's all yours, I'm sure. I'm the mentor of these two. Charizard? Are you the infamous Silver Streak, by any chance? Oh, you humble me, sir. I take it you've heard of me, then. Only rumors, I'm afraid, but yes, I know your name. You're one of the top young bracers, if I'm not mistaken, which means you three are here to investigate the incident as well, I suppose. Oh, so you do have some brains left in there after all that booze. I'm impressed. You find anything out? We saw you by the mayor's house. You seemed pretty troubled. Damn, they saw that. Uh, yeah, I was looking for clues and couldn't find any. 
That's what I figured. Damned Army's regulations on the spread of information really strict what I'm able to learn anyway. And if I try to consult General Morgan at the Hecken Gate directly, I'll be held up for inspection for who knows how long. So I figured I'd at least try to score an interview with the legendary voluptuous mayor, but a maid turned me away outright. And to top it all off, that useless girl kept screwing everything up everything. Oh, great Adeus, tell me what did I do to deserve this shabby life? Well, you did try to do an exclusive on the mayor's chest, but if you want information that badly, we might share some of ours with you. Huh? We're actually investigating the incident on Mayor Maybell's behalf right now. So naturally, we've met with the mayor and General Morgan, too, for that matter. Holy crap, you serious? Yep, totally. Score! And the goddess gets a point. Blessed by the bounty of Adeos. Please, I beg of you, tell me everything, every last detail. We'll be glad to, however... Aren't you forgetting something, Niall? Huh? Ha! <laughs> Information ain't free, you know. We'll scratch your back, but you need to scratch ours first, and get that look off your face. I totally do not mean that literally. You want mirror or something? My research funds are long exhausted at this point, I'm sorry to say. We're not interested in your money. We just find it fascinating that you made your way to Bose right after the incident occurred. Seems like you might have heard some interesting things yourself, that being the case. Ah, uh, and here I thought you were a nice kid. Turns out you're just a slimy little leech like me. I'll tell you what I know, but rest assured, it's not big news by any stretch of the imagination. As long as it's related to the incident, no matter how trivial it may seem, I'll take it. Just don't be stingy. Give it to us straight, okay? Fine, fine. I'll tell you everything on my honor as a newsman. I've got two clues to share, so if you're taking notes, I suggest you get out your pen and paper. We're ready whenever you are. Man, way to go, Joshua. You're on a roll. Heh. <laughs> well, if he ever gets tired of being a bracer, he knows he's got a bright future in racketeering with those skills. The first clue is in the form of an eyewitness report from the Village Revenue to the west. I talked to a villager who'd just come to Bose for a visit, and she told me something very interesting. Apparently she knows a kid who saw a huge shadow flying overhead on the night of the incident. A huge shadow flying overhead? Yep, airship, I told him. Maybe even that missing one. But the army checked it out and found absolutely nothing. Aw, oh, you meanie. You raised our hopes, only to dash them straight away. So you're saying somebody saw something, but it was probably unrelated to anything. That's what I'm saying. I warned you it wasn't big news. And I went to a lot of trouble to get this sad morsel too. What with that information embargo in place and all. Well done. Now let's hear the second clue of yours. Ah, oh, fine. The other thing I learned is that the military's intelligence division is on the move. Intelligence division? I've heard rumors about them. It's a new royally sanctioned branch on the army in charge of intelligence gathering and dissemination. That's the one, yeah. Supposedly they're so elite they can even stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with the royal bodyguards. The man they put in charge, Colonel Richard, is apparently quite the whiz kid. With him on the case, they say this incident is as good as solved already. Hmm. Doesn't seem like your information will be much of use to us in our investigation. Yeah, well, can't say I didn't warn you. Sorry I couldn't help much on your end. But a promise is a promise. I scratched, now it's your turn. Of course, a deal is a deal after all. Joshua told Niall all about the incident in Roland, as well as the information received from General Morgan. The Kapuas? Sky Bandits? A ransom demand to the Royal House and the Airship Corporations? Good goddess, that's exactly what I needed. That's the missing link I've been killing myself to find. Caught your fancy, did it? Absolutely. I can definitely write my article now. I can't be wasting my time getting drunk here. I have to go find Dorothy post-haste. See you later, you wonderful people, you. Wow, his spirit certainly lifted fast. Well, he was chasing a big story pretty unsuccessfully until we came along. It's only natural. I'm glad we could help him out. Well, look at you. From Mr. I'll break your kneecaps if you don't talk to Mr. Nice Guy in under a minute. Talk about a split personality. Stop thinking weird things about me. I was just negotiating. A little give and take, nothing more. Hehe. <laughs> A bad boy exterior with a good boy inside. 
or is it just the other way around? Either way, I'm sure the girls love it. But anyway, I guess we've really only dealt with scrupulous people thus far. We're pretty lucky in that regard. Start dealing with the weirdos and that's when you'll find to bust out some really questionable negotiation tactics. Why were you looking at me when you said that? Anyway, that aside, was anyone else a little bothered when Niall talked about that huge flying shadow thing? That eyewitness report from Revenue? I'd say there's a strong chance there was nothing to it. If the army already checked it out, yeah, but I mean, it's not like the army is totally infallible. They could have missed something. It wasn't General Morgan himself, after all, but one of his men, and some of those guys are pretty thick-headed. That is true. Probably worth looking into. Certainly can't hurt at any rate. Heh, <laughs> you two are starting to get the hang of this, I see. I think this is a splendid idea. Let's head to Revenue then, shall we? Got it. 